Hey, it's Bobby with Simplified Coaching, your life and health coach and simplifying specialist. Now, we are in the middle of our habit change series, and what we've learned so far in a nutshell is that to get big results, we need to make small changes consistently over time. And last week we talked about perspective shift and how shifting our mindset from the negative to the positive can really change the energy around our thoughts and our actions. And that sets us up for success and dare I say may even make you excited about changing your habits. That leads us into this week, number two, small change that you can make. And that is knowing your priorities but really giving them the attention that they deserve, okay? So stick with me on this one. This is when you think something is really important, okay? Um, but you find yourself just not giving it the time that it needs. Have you been there? Are you doing that? Do you recognize it? Okay, if you do, Keep going with me here. So it may feel like a big one, but I'm going to show you how to take this big idea and make it into this one small change so that it's achievable. That's what we want. Okay, we're gonna pick one priority and maybe it's around your health, maybe it is with your house, maybe it's a goal that you have. Get that in your mind, bring it up, right? Whatever this habit is, this change that you're wanting to make, think about, hmm, what's the priority around that, you know? And we'll do an example here in just a minute. But ask yourself honestly about this. Um, are you really giving it the attention and the time that it deserves? Hmm, I'm gonna guess, guess that the answer is no. And you know what, that's okay. No judgment because today is day one of your new journey and we're moving forward with a new mindset and we're moving forward giving these things that we know are so important to us, important to having the bigger, fuller life that we want. Um, and so we're going to make these changes today. All right, so you've got this one priority and I want you to think about what is one small thing that you can do to either make more time for it, right? You'll fall in that one camp where you're like, I don't even know that I have time to do this. We're gonna think about what you can do to make time for it. Or you may fall in the second camp where you're like, okay, let's be real, I have time for it, but I've been avoiding it. Even though I know it's important, it happens, right? I've been avoiding it. Okay, so if you've been avoiding it, you're going to think about what is something that you can do actionable to give attention to that priority. So we're coming up with an action that's just, we're gonna go right into it because we know we have the time. Let me give you an example so this kind of all makes more sense for you. I'm gonna use the example of maybe your house uh, is a little bit of a mess, right? It happens. Maybe it's completely disorganized or you might be like, oh, chaos, right? Whatever words you use to describe it, it's not what you want it to be. So we're going to look at these people. Y'all are in the first camp, the first thing where you're like, I don't even know where I can find time to work on this. Your one small change that you're going to do is to find 15 minutes towards the end of your day each day for a quick pickup, okay, of everything that sort of came out of place for that day. Where are you going to find 15 minutes? Hmm, well, a lot people could probably stop doing something like getting on social media for 15 minutes, set a timer and divert your attention <laughs> to the house and spend that 15 minutes um, that way. Whatever you're finding is a thief of your time that is taking your time towards something that's really not a priority. Um, that's where I want you to find your 15 minutes. Okay. And when that one small change happens, over and over and you feel like, oh, okay, that wasn't so bad, then I want you to up your game to the next small change bonus here. And hmm, maybe it could be a few hours in the afternoon on a weekend um, that maybe there's something else stealing your time, whether it's just like chilling, watching TV, binging Netflix, right? So take that time and I want you to begin on one of the bigger projects in your house and you know, the decluttering and different things that need to happen there, okay? 
So we're going to find some time, small at first, expand from there, and just let that become kind of the new habit for you. Okay, for my friends that were in the second camp where you know you have time, you've just been avoiding it, okay? Your small step is that you are going to begin to focus, right? We are going to take action. So I want you to think about what that finished space looks like. This amazing, simplified haven that you've made for yourself and for your family and feel how good that feels, right? and know that there's just some action standing between where you are right now and that, okay? So you're gonna start with some action. Maybe it's just going through the house, taking out anything that can go to the trash, like really anything that has no life left whatsoever and just needs to go. Grab a trash bag, start filling it up, okay? The idea is that we want to build momentum. So start with that and then grab a box and do the same thing with anything that still has life left, but not for you, okay? And not for your family, that you can begin to add up a charitable no donations box and start there. The idea is just that you're going to begin to get into motion. You're going to get yourself going and these small changes, these small actions that you're going to take are going to give you the excitement and the momentum to continue to go into the bigger actions that you need to finish the product. Awesome, so small changes, really get real about what is important to you and how you can find the time to make it a priority and focus on it, okay? Thanks so much, guys. Let me know, what are you working on? What are you going to tackle this week? Where are you finding time and how are you going to spend it? I'm curious. Share it with me and next week, I'll see you for our last small change that's just really gonna get you going. Okay, until then, keep it simple and be well.